Hey, what's up? T-R-O-Y, the maker, checking in. Welcome to the project. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, what's up? My name is Troy, and I do project videos weekly using a Glowforge 3D laser printer. And if that's something that you like, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you will be notified when I drop a new video. And in this project, I'm gonna show you how to make some acrylic cake toppers. This is one of the videos that a lot of people have asked me, how would I make some acrylic cake toppers using a Glowforge? So I finally got around to this video. We will be using 1 8 inch acrylic. I have mirror gold, mirror silver, glitter gold, and glitter silver. Those will be the acrylics that we will be using. So let's head over to Corel Draw, and I'm gonna show you how I would make some cake toppers. Okay, I will be using Corel Draw 2020 to make this cake topper we will be making the cake topper that says happy birthday. Okay, so we wanna go over here and select the letter A, and you wanna click somewhere in here. So the font that we're going to use is happy birthday. I know, right? So we're just gonna type in happy, and we're gonna put it at the bottom, birthday. So we're just gonna go over here to zoom, and we're gonna select fit. We're gonna start with the word happy. Using like a cursive font is gonna put you ahead a lot more because you wanna make sure that all of the letters is touching in some way, form, or fashion. We just wanna select and we're gonna go up here to object and we're going to break artistic text. Basically, we're breaking it apart and it's gonna break the happy and the birthday up. Now we wanna select happy and we're gonna go up here and select and break artistic text apart. So it's gonna break each individual text apart. So you you can select each one of them. We're not gonna worry about the A, P, P, Y because it's already connected. And we're gonna take the H and we're just gonna use the arrow keys to move it over like so. Somewhere as long as it's touching, it, it should be okay. Now we're gonna take the word birthday. We're gonna select the entire word of birthday and we're gonna do the same thing. Select it, go up to the object, break artistic tech apart and it's gonna give you that. It's gonna break all of the letters apart. As you can see, let's zoom in. When we broke it apart, it broke up the I and the R. So basically you just wanna do the same thing and just move them to the point where they're touching. You wanna select the whole entire word birthday. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna group it together and we're gonna take the word happy, select it, and we're gonna group it together as well. And basically we wanna drag the happy and we wanna put it somewhere like on top for right now. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna select the whole entire word, happy birthday. We're gonna go up here to alignment and we're gonna align it in the center. So once it's aligned in the center, let's zoom in go up here to fit. You wanna make sure that the words that are on, stacked on top of each other is touching in at least two different places. With this one, we have happy birthday touching at three different places. So we got it touching right here with the B and the H. We got this H and this P touching, and we have the Y and the D touching like so. Zoom out of it, and we're going to highlight it. And then you wanna make it the size of the cake topper that you want it to be. So right now, we are less than one inch in width and less than one inch in height. But we're gonna drag it out to about close to five inches in width. The next thing that we wanna do, we gotta create the outline around happy birthday so it can cut out. But we also, so you can either, but before we create the outline around it, you see like the Y's and some of the parts, like right here, it's like it's probably gonna be really thin and I don't want it to break. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to select the entire design, happy birthday, and we're going to group it together. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it thicker, so we're gonna put a contour around it. So we're gonna select this tool over here and go to contour, select our design. We're going to go outside one step. Let's go about 0 0.01 to see what we get. So once you got all those settings, you just wanna click right here and see what we get. 
that's what we're going to roll with so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to select it and we're going to do a hairline and we're going to go over here and we're going to unfill it and as you can see we have the contour that's based all inside of it so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to zoom out of it select the entire design or appeal to object and we're going to break contour apart so once it breaks the contour apart we're going to zoom in but we want to select the inside of that contour so we're just going to select it like so and we're going to press delete and it's going to delete the entire inside contour and as you can see it combined the entire design all into one so you might get some parts like this but you can just easily select it go up here to object break that contour apart select out of it and just select that part on this h right here and just delete it the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here and just select this square and we're just going to draw us one get 0 0.125 that's about thickness of 1 8 inch thick and we got it about let's do about five for right now so five inches and the thickness is 0.125 next thing we're going to do is select the design happy birthday and we want to group it all together so once it's grouped all together we know it's not moving the next thing we want to do we want to take our little pick fork thing that we just created we want to put it somewhere in the center we're going to select the entire design go up here to alignment alignment in the center and we're about 7.5 so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this a little shorter. So let's go about four inches like so. That should be good. But we're gonna just zoom in. We're going to select a little pick for a thing. Let's change it to a hairline first off. And we're going to take it. We're just gonna use the arrow to move it up to where it's just touching like so. But the bottom part, we want we want to let's zoom in on that. We want this to be like more of a like a pointed, like so. We're going to select it and we're gonna go up here to these tools right here. I forgot what they call but we're going to change it to this third one right here the one that's all the way to the right and we're going to change this bottom corner and that bottom corner which is this side and this side and we're going to change it to we just go five five right there and we're going to go five right here and it's basically going to give us a tip like so where it's more pointy we want to go up and we're going to zoom up to right here and right here we got it it's not connected so the easiest way to do it is go over to this virtual segment delete tool and we're going to delete this and we're going to delete that. Then the next thing we're going to do to make it one solid piece and you know it's one solid piece because if you select it, you're going to get just a happy birthday. And if you select this, you're going to get just a pick for it. The easiest way I think to do it is go over here to this smart field tool and we're just going to select inside of it like so. And it's going to give us a smart feel of the entire design. Let's get our select tool and we want to take this smart field and just move it over to the side like so. And we're going to put a hairline around it. We're going to change the color to an RG gb red select that of it close that out we're going to unfill it so this design over here we can delete it we don't need it anymore and we're going to take this one move it over so we want to check it out make sure everything is good and we know it's all one solid piece and that's what you want to do and if you want to add someone's name at the bottom you can add a number at the bottom you can add a number in between it the possibilities is endless when creating cake toppers and make sure that you also put that little pointy tip at the bottom just to make it easier to go inside of the cake now we got them all cut out it turned out really good now let's get some close-ups There you have it. How I would do some laser cut acrylic cake toppers using the Glowforge. If you like this video or got any type of value out of this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next project. Peace. Right.